Hey, welcome to Harmony of Spices. Have you wondered why the banana breads that we buy from coffee shops taste much better than the ones we make at home? Let's cook a very tasty and moist banana bread that would outbeat the one that we buy from outside. For the best banana bread, always use really ripened bananas. The more ripened it is, the better the banana bread is going to be. So anytime I have like leftover ripened banana that we know we won't finish it, I just keep them in the freezer and I take them out when I have to make a banana bread. I find that using these bananas give me the perfect texture and the moist banana bread. So anytime you have extra bananas at home that you are not going to eat them, don't throw it out, just store them in the freezer, it comes handy. So I've taken four of them here. If you just run water over it, it's gonna thaw really quickly and you can peel off the skin very easily. And I've taken some small pieces of pecans, but if you don't like nuts or anybody's allergic to nuts, do not use them and this is totally optional. Or you could choose to use walnuts or chocolate chips. Then I have one teaspoon of baking soda and half teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you have like natural vanilla extract, go ahead and put a little more then have half teaspoon. Then I'm using one by third cup of melted butter, an egg, quarter teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. And cinnamon powder is totally optional. If you don't like it, don't use them. Here I have three fourth cup of white sugar. You can use brown sugar if you prefer to. Then I have one and a half cup of all purpose flour. I'm taking a loaf pan. A five by nine pan would be a perfect size for the quantity that I'm showing. Here's the peeled bananas. Adding the butter, vanilla extract, egg, sugar. You don't really need a standing mixer or a hand mixer, you can just mash it with your hand. Banana bread doesn't need a lot of kneading, it just needs to be mixed well together. So I'm just going to use the standing mixer because it's easier for me. So I just mashed it and mixed it. I didn't bother to make it into a smooth paste. You don't need to because the little chunky pieces of banana would taste really good. Now I'm adding the flour, the salt and cinnamon powder and the baking soda. So once you add all the dry ingredients, do not over mix it. You just need to mix all of them together. This is like one of the easiest things to bake. You just have to mash the banana and mix them all together. Now let's add the pecans and fold them into the dough. Sprinkling some flour on the pan and pouring the dough into the loaf pan. Just tap the pan couple times so they are evenly spread and there's no air holes. My oven is preheated to 350 degree and I'm gonna bake it for 60 minutes. After 50-55 minutes, use a toothpick or a fork to poke into the bread and see if it's cooked. If it comes out clean, which means it's perfectly cooked. The baking time took 60 minutes for me. Wait for it to be cold before you slice them. Here's a super soft and delicious banana bread ready. Your family will love this one. Try it out. It can be used for breakfast or for a snack with a really nice cup of tea or coffee. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for watching Harmony of Spices.